total count we want count function to equal to count so if you get employee count then you can use uh, count a number of cells in the data range that are not empty so i am using count a function here so i am want to know how many names are there so that itself gives the total count the employee name so again i will show this one i am using count a formula of employees employee name you can either go with the employee id or employee name same thing you will get i will go with employee names employee name yes 1470 employees so 1470 um 1471 rows are there first row is the heading so that means 1470 employees are there so active before that i have to calculate active that is active employees that is the formula is total minus attrition for that we should know attrition that means how many employees have left so go to edited attrition column in attrition column you can see yes no yes no are there yes means they are presently working in the company uh, s means they are not uh, they have left the company no means they are presently working in that company so there are two categories so one will be s another one will be no right so i i will otherwise i will add one more row s no i better i will add one more column also insert just for this s no same thing i can add it for gender also so male female okay so i will go with gender first i have left that gender earlier so equal to so for gender i am using count if it is a condition that i want to see in the range which range in gender column range condition is it should be written as male in the gender column if they mention it as male then i want to count them that is what the meaning of this formula so count if means count if in the gender column male is typed male is uh, male uh, box is formed so that's what is the meaning so that means in edited if you see the gender column male females are written it has counted only the male boxes male uh, cells so that is your 882 similarly count if in the gender column if female is written so there are 588 rows having fe- uh, which has female uh, name cells 888 rows having a uh, cells named male so if i select both it will show the sum 1470 it is equal to total count of the uh, employees similarly attrition i am so for gender i have used count if function for count i have used count a function okay so for these things i have used index so i will just uh, for your reference i will mention it here formulas index i have used for all these things i have used index for this is count a count if again this one also count if so attrition again i am going to use count if so equal to count if in attrition column if it is says yes that means you have to count it again count if attrition column if it is written no so this is the condition d31 
no so if i select both it will show 1470 so that means 237 employees have left the company presently 1233 are active so no means they are presently active employees automatically you will get the answer in one other way is from total employees you can deduct attrition yes that is who the who whichever company uh, employee left the companies company so you will get 1233 so this is also works as the active employee or this formula total employee minus number of company uh, left the uh, number of employees left the company that also that formula you can also apply or attrition no option also you can use it as active employees in both ways you will get same answer next one attrition rate so attrition rate formula is num attrition rate attrition rate formula is number of employee left the company divided by total company total employees so attrition divided by total employees so that is the formula here so okay this one i will put it here attrition divided by total employees that means attrition is 237 divided by total that is total count e26 you will get 16 again it rate is always in percentage so if i enable this ribbon so i click on this uh, there is a percentage symbol you click that it will get 16 percent but i want to place this after decimal point so I will click up use this so 16.12 percent is the attrition rate so again I will show how to get this so I am using equal to attrition rate number of employees left the company that is 237 divided by total employees of the company 1470 I will get this information point answer as 0 0.1612 i want it in percentage since it is a rate 16 percent but i want it in decimals also so i will use this uh, in function increase decimal 16.12 so now next one total department so again it will it is going to count so normally in 2016 version of ms office there is no unique function only in case of uh, ms office 365 there is an option called unique unique <coughs> if i say department it will give five correct five unique departments are there in the company so this is possible only in ms office 365 it is not there in 2019 or 21 version also i think if i am not wrong it is not there in 2016 version also unique function is there that you can use it here to but we want the count not the name of the employees so i want to count so for that i will add one more formula in front of unique count the unique so okay not count i think count a will work yeah count a formula so i am using unique or uh, and count a so there are five departments in the company next one branches equal to count a again for that unique i am adding uh, unique 
then branches branches we have created the name range as branch okay so seven branches are there in and each branch is having five department in how many names the company's branches are uh, located so again count a unique nation in two nations are there so i will show the data set here first as uh, if i go with the department you can see hr finance r and d hr r and d is repeated if you use unique function you will get five different five unique uh, cells that is five departments if you use count a function it will count them so you are using two functions count a and unique so first unique will give the five department names and count a will count those five names so it will give the value similarly branches so branches there are different areas locations are there uh, 1470 rows uh, employees are located in different branches so your unique function will give the seven branches name and count a function will count them so that is your seven branches similarly for nation nation you can see here nation ua india ua india only two countries are there so that one will uh, it will count a function will count now if you are not having if you are having older version of ms office then you have to do some um, multitasking that means here you have to type department so you will get the department list then see what i am telling is first bring all the department uh, list here instead of copy pasting from that cell you just type unique department unique unique department unique branch and unique nation unique means only uh, to avoid the repetition i am using that word unique so first we'll bring the department list here equal to department if you type you will get department list equal to branch if you type you will get branch list equal to nation if you type you will get nation list so this is from your raw data set so for these things is control we are using data Uh, uh, remove duplicate options so it is there in your all the version of ms office so this one i am doing for those i will okay i will paste them in at the top so to avoid uh, yeah i will uh, paste it here we will bring this combo box anyway this combo box is irrelevant for our uh, data set i'm just i wanted to show how this works but we are using index function for the dashboard okay so unique so i want to remove duplicates you can see hr is re repeated multiple times finance is repeated so i will select this range and i am going to use the function called remove duplicates for that i will go to data tab there is one remove duplicate option in this dialog box it will ask expand selection or continue with the current selection no i want to go with only current selection i don't want to uh, touch other columns also so only this column unique name i want so continue with the current selection remove duplicates so click on column g okay so you can't change part of an array that means you can't use this one so what i will do is i will select since they are in for formulas i will select them control control c right click paste text only so now they are not in formula so that blue color background you can't see again i will do it for the rest of the columns control c paste text to uh, control c paste text only 
control C paste text on so in order to going back to edited sheet and selecting the branch and copy pasting here I did these things so whatever convenient for you you can do follow that steps so I don't want to navigate in between to other sheet that's why I have do this multitask uh, multi uh, two task here I have used that department formula and co copy paste as text so I will select this column now I want to remove the duplicates so I will go to data tab remove duplicates option continue with the current selection remove duplicates okay so it will give five unique values similarly for unique branch I will again keep the cursor on Sharja shift control down arrow to select entire range remove duplicates continue with the current selection remove duplicates okay so it will give seven unique values so this is useful if you uh, this this is the way you can get the unique values if you are not having 365 office 365 so go to remove duplicates continue with current selection remove duplicates column one you get two unique values so now those who are not having 365 then you can change the formula so i will remove this unique formula what you have used here so you can see i got these cells five uh, different branches I will move it here so that I can show it in one single screen yeah so these are the five unique branches uh, five unique departments seven unique branches two different nations so again I, I will use only count a so count a five again I will use only count a I will select this range in the branch it will show 7 count a this 2 2 manually you can count and type since the numbers are very less but you can use the count a formula so I will remove that unique here since majority may not be having office 365 access so so this one I got remove duplicates option So you remove duplicates I have used here for the formula uh, to get the unique names and these are the formulas I have used it for uh, getting the values so this the basic detail so my, these details we have already created so this detail we got it in in using index function count if and count a and remove duplicate options so uh, this is a lengthy video in next video we are going to prepare department wise data branch data and nation data nation wise data employee count and also the performance rating so